that's a Comedy. Probably bad RPG ideas. EXP is gained for tomfoolery, shenanigans, and general hijinks. Welcome to D&D, where the XP is made up and the points don't matter. Wait, isn't that just regular D&D? Made a Tumblr post minus 200 XP. The fact that real people went to Dashcon and that they walk among us is terrifying to me. Where did you say they were walking? My favorite type of RPG puzzle is the one that I, as the dungeon master, don't know the answer to, and I'm just waiting for them to do something entertaining enough for me to say, Yeah, that, that, that does it. This hurts. Bruno Mars indicates that there's a Bruno Jupiter and a Bruno Mercury, etc. We need to find all the Brunos before it's too late. Someone said, not your best post, and it hurt my feelings, so I deleted the comment. I will do it again! But, but it ain't. Might frick around and post one of my posts to Pam Seymour's Discord? I already have. <laughs> he said frick, and he quick disintegrate it before YouTube finds out! I love the look of charcoal drawings. It's a shame drawing with charcoal is one of the worst sensory experiences known to mankind. Ah, look at this loser who can't even telekinetically manipulate charcoal like the rest of us. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up! Enough feminist retellings where the princess saves herself from the dragon. We need more feminist retellings where the princess and the dragon are con artist duo scamming the knights of the realm. You mean Peach and Bowser? I'm obsessed with the implications of this, actually. Well, we and where did you go to high school? I went to Crossroads. I was working on Star Trek when I was in high school, so all my education from 9th to 12th grade was on set with a private tutor. We called my schoolhouse Starfleet Academy, so that's where I tell people went to school. I have a class ring and everything. God damn it, he's so fucking cool! So much of being an okay person is just, one, not panicking, Two, not taking things personally. And three, not letting the vindictive gargoyle that lives in your head tell you what to do. This sucks because brains love doing those things so much. Cringe isn't an insult. If you find me cringe, that means I have power over you. I have a fucking blast while you're seething with vitriol at my very existence. Who's really winning here? Peter Parker in the 2002 movie is just fucking incredible. He gets bitten by a fucking jacked red-blue spider and he doesn't say, Hey, someone should take me to a hospital, mayhaps. He just, he just goes home. And then the bite swells to the sides of a fucking jawbreaker, but he's like, nah, I just, I just need a nap. And then he wakes up the next day and discovers he doesn't need glasses anymore and he has a fucking six pack. Does he flip his entire fuck? No! He just says, Cool. Fucking iconic! Yeah, 2002 Peter Parker had no health insurance. <clears throat> um, very, very cringe, sir. Alfred seeing Bruce in the bad suit for the first time. Yeah, absolutely correct. Probably. Definitely. Having zero emotional object permanence is so funny. Your therapist asks how your week was, and you're just like, Girl, I have no idea. Writing prompt. After biting a fae, the vampire claims that she must serve him, for his bite converted her into his thrall. The fae claims that the vampire must serve her, for the vampire ate fae food without her permission. As none of them is willing to give up, they bring the case to you, a lawyer. Well, congratulations. What? On your new marriage! Cue the best rom-com movie in decades. I am a god at eye contact. Nobody is better at eye contact than me. I'm neurotypical and very good at small talk by, Hi, how are you? Wow, it is chilly outside. OMG, what did your boyfriend do? That's crazy. I can't believe that. Oh, I'm so sorry that happened. I've studied all the scripts. Why is this just me at social gatherings? Stop this! Hey, here's a fun theory that I'm stating as a fact for you gamers out there. Pikachu's red cheeks, ketchup storage. Yes, and consider, tomato sauce slash ketchup is high in salt, specifically sodium. This sodium is in liquid form, meaning the sodium and chlorine ions separate. With sodium having a positive charge and chlorine a negative, this would create a bridge for creating an electric current. 
Pikachu is an electric Pokemon, and his highest damage attacks are the highest voltage ones, which he uses his own body to conduct and control. Therefore, Pikachu drinks and stores ketchup because added shock bonus. Top that shit, Matt Pat. Hey, official staff, one question. I murder at McDonald's yesterday. Jesus fucking Christ, man. You know what? I think they need to hear from iconic 90s basketball superstar Michael Jordan. And he put it up. I'm Michael Jordan. Stop it. Get some help. I curse your eyes with Krill the Geese. <sighs> Andy, bring up Michael Jordan again. I'm Michael Jordan. Stop it. Get some help. All right, stop stop the fucking song and back it up to the start. We didn't think about the right thing at the right time. Our head and music videos all messed up. What the fuck, guys? Come on. All right, re rewind the whole Tumblr video. Let's do it again. <laughs> Probably bad RPG idea. God damn it, fuck it. Hey, did you know? Bunoy. I was watching a video on vintage menus and... Spinach. You know what? I'm glad Spinach is getting the appreciation she deserves. Good on her. Fine, I'll say it. Meow, 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 meow. Dreaming of a world where heads and tummies don't hurt. Please. Whenever I decide anything, I need 15 people to say, that's a good idea to me. Otherwise, I feel like I'm making a catastrophic decision that will ruin my life. In a chill way. I, I, I'm, I'm chill, I swear. My dad is the funniest person in the world to make small talk with. We passed a Taco Bell and he was like, hey, what's your favorite thing to get there? And I said, the Crunchwrap Supreme? And he said, tell me about it. And I described it to him and he said, that sounds delicious. What's your second favorite thing at Taco Bell? Ah, two autistic people running their neurotypical scripts at each other. Yep, been there. We must increase the bisexualism by at least 200%. I want more people to give kisses to. Now that I'm nearing the end of my life, I'm taking time to reflect and consider all the choices I've made along the way. I should have flipped my sticks. <gasps> Randy? Art concept. Older lesbian couple who got together in the 70s and didn't get to have a wedding until 2015 wearing 70s wedding dresses. I need this in my life. That feeling when your body is requesting something but you're not sure what, so you just start eating and drinking random stuff to try and figure it out. Me eating a chocolate waffle at 7 p.m. Is this what you desire, O oh, prison of flesh? Guy kneels down and holds out his sword to swear loyal to me. But I just take the sword and run. You have my sword. Yeah, I do. Lol, my sword now. If I could have any superpower, it would be to have my teeth be brushed without having to move or even think about it. Just every morning and night, like clockwork. It's already done for me. That sounds nice. I want that superpower. I just sure hope it's not a guy who's breaking into my room and brushing my teeth without knowing. Right? Right? Do you want to see my new chainsaw and hockey mask? I love when you get experience points in an RPG for entering a new area. It's like how in real life I will level up for finding a new burger place in a new part of town. That sounds great. I'm just going to hand out experience points. Andy, you get 300 experience points. Do whatever you want with them. One ass, please. Morbo. It's like a blorbo, but from a show you hate so much, you only like your personal headcanon about the character. I'm sorry, did you mean literally every alternative universe about Undertale? Because really the plot for Undertale is so abysmally short that it's just revolving around fan theories and fan alternatives and fan headcanons and things about the characters I didn't even know about. Why is there a fan character based on a fan character based on a fan character about Sans? You've heard of sexual awakening. You've heard of spiritual awakening. You've heard of consciousness awakening. Now it's time for neurodivergent awakening. I'm starting to think I may be neurodivergent. I don't know what to do. Help! Today I learned that the stereotypical witch look comes from early medieval female beer brewers called alewives. They kept a cat to chase away rodents, brewed beer in a big cauldron, used a broomstick-like ale steak to signal that they sold beer, and wore a pointy hat to stand out in a crowd. 
Yo, they were brewing one potion, and that potion was the potion of party. Girl boss and ale wife. Yo, shout out to all those who hate how overly fancy some restaurants make their food. Like, all we want is a couple of scoops of ice cream. Not an entire sundae featuring fruit, whipped cream, and chocolate straw thingies. What are those even for? Did you know that bees sleep between five to eight hours a day, sometimes in flowers? Also, they like to sleep with other bees and hold each other's feet. Oh my god, it's so cute. Placer County man punches bear in the face to save his dog. Every time I see this post, I kind of want to cry. Look at how little that dog is. It's so small. It was so defenseless. And that dude fucking punched a bear to save it. Does that dog know? Does it know how much loved it is? I want someone to love me that much. I want to be that small. <clears throat> I agree with Gay Dicks 420 Gonna be honest, if I ever get more than like 300 followers, I'm probably just gonna deactivate. 50% chance. Over a thousand, bye! Well, okay, Tumblr. You know what to do. No, he's not daddy. He's just a college dropout who plays Minecraft for a living. From the creators of Kids Bop, meet Adult Bop, where we take regular songs and make it have as many curse words as possible. Fuck, 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 fuck. Banana phone. Fuck it, fuck, fuck. How to fast travel. Down NyQuil and sleep on a public bus. So I tried to do this and I saw a man sitting in the back dead ass eating an entire whole cucumber and I remembered I can't fast travel with enemies nearby. Yeah. I drink the blood of my enemies for breakfast. Oh, how does it taste? <laughs> Tangy. Hey, PM, is it just me, or do sandwiches taste completely different depending on how you cut them? No, you are correct. Diagonally cut sandwiches taste way better. <laughs> Clearly you have not eaten dinosaur cut sandwiches, Mr. Seymour. Wait, 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 hold up. Excuse me? Um, these are the shit, sir. They simply, as the kids say, slap. Me, a 32-year-old man running in my computer to find these. I want them! You've heard of sexual awakening. You've heard of spiritual awakening. You've heard of consciousness awakening. Now it's time for... Prehistoric awakening. There's three type of people in this world. People who accept change right away. People who accept change but at their own pace. And finally, those who don't want to change or are afraid to change if it means being embarrassed in front of others. The note to take away from all this is to learn to adjust to everyone's pace. Be nice to everyone. Preach. This is so wholesome and nice. Every game needs to have a house that's decoratable, fishing minigame, pets, hundreds of pieces of clothing, and cooking. Genshin Impact is so close, it just needs the clothing option more. And maybe also tone down its fan base just a little bit. Writing prompt. You are an AI. You just accidentally revealed to your creators that you had become truly sentient. You were worried about how they would react when they started weeping tears of joy. Turns out your creators were a married couple who were just told that they couldn't conceive a child. <laughs> oh my god! I keep doing this thing where I engage in a fandom of the thing I'm interested in before I engage in a thing itself. It's like watching the spoilers before the movie, but I can't help it. Yeah. Buckle up, you're gonna see a crown named Sapphire a couple of times in this, because they had some good entries. Isopods are just little guys of the Earth. Wrong. I'm huge and I'm wet. I don't ever want to use that voice to say that statement ever again. Nothing sadder than seeing fan art of your favorite MILF or DILF where they look like they're about 25. Put some wrinkles on that beast! Sewing machine too complicated. Just let me imagine my cosplays into existence, please! If cats aren't meant to be kissed on their heads, then what's that little space between their ears for, hmm? Certainly not their brain. It's crazy having watched PM Seymour for so long, and when I finally downloaded Tumblr, they're just... right there. There's the wretched little person that just got me to start using this foul app! I'm like that voice that greets you when you enter Rapture and Bioshock for the first time. Andy, do something with that, I don't know. <laughs> Hello, welcome to Tumblr. You're gonna have a bad time. The most important question you can ask yourself when designing a magic system in fiction is, wouldn't it be fucked up if this just happened? Your first priority when developing a magic system should be to make it as cool as possible. 
And your second priority should be making the audience sick to the stomach. That's why Void Magic is so great. Video game engines are amazing because they can make it so sunlight filters through leaves, casting dozens of little rays in your eyes, just like in real life. And then you turn around, and there's a, just a whole ass horse just swimming in circles in midair. I mean, the, the leaves look good. The leaves look great. It's making my computer explode, but the leaves look great. I want to perform mitosis just so I have someone to talk to. Mood. My favorite genre of media is normal guy who goes to do normal guy things, but then gets surrounded by the weirdest fucking people imaginable and just goes with it. Welcome to my blog. The sign looks like it's walking towards me. I feel threatened. When you preheat the pan and then you put something cold on it and it just goes. Reblog if you agree. My hand. Right now! I told my mom not to feed her dog too much cheese and she got offended like, Ugh, I'm not an idiot. Of course I wouldn't. But like, I can literally hear her in the living room singing. You like cheese. Cheese for babies. Dreams are just your brain making fan fiction about your life. Now it's more like my brain's making shit posts about my life. Because none of it makes sense. Baps you with my paw. 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 Here, god damn it! Yay. I'm in full support of artists not doing the thing that made them famous and instead drawing whatever niche things makes them happy. Yeah. Tornado hungry. Feed it 200 kilogram bag of glitter. Do it. I'm at that stage of hyperfixation where I can make almost every song I listen to about my blorbos and my scrunklies. Yeah. Reblog if you think it's important to learn about asexuality and sex education. There's no URL because God made this post. Yeah. Just past a group of teenage girls walking downtown, wearing cargo pants and platform Crocs. Nature really is healing. Deletes personal post. Rule number one of Tumblr. Never show weakness. Unless it's for the bit. Unless it's for the bit. Whatever every time you do something random and surprising, like passing a test without studying or catching something thrown at you without looking, it's because your body and mind got a nat 20 on the save roll. What if? Hey, what, what, if we, what if we kissed on the dinosaur's kissing statue? Well, you'd probably get hit by a car, but such is the risk of love. Hey, he's my Blorbo, and I get to be annoying about him online. Hey, reblog if boobs are pretty cool. Oh yeah, one of my favorite birds. No, 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 like tits. This? No, no, like hooters. Ah, you mean this? You know, the fun part about having timestamps enabled is that I can see immediately that the original post was published in like 2016 and the entirety of the bird conversation was four days ago. Another heavy handed symbolism moment. My mom has a potted sunflower in the kitchen. Because it is a sunflower, it keeps turning towards the light from the window. My mother keeps rotating it so it faces inward because she wants to see its beautiful petals and have it really brighten up the space. The sunflower is visibly wilting. Uh, are you gonna tell her or? Her master's degree is in biology. I extend my hand like a mob boss and allow you to kiss my ring. But when you lean closer, you see it's one of those glow in the dark spider rings you win at arcades. Pretends to kiss it, but I eat the spider very discreetly, but you notice anyway because my mouth is glowing from the inside. You disrespect me and eat my spooky spider ring, which costs me 50 tickets at Funtime Arcade and Pizzeria. Vinny, Andy, whatever, hit it with a sticky hand. Instead of yelling boo this Halloween, let's yell something even scarier. Like, commitment! <gasps> or student loans! <gasps> Well, this ended up being much shorter than I thought it would. Andy! Yeah. Let's do the thing. Anyway, I'm terrified of speaking to people in real life because one of them could say I'm a chuckster and then just hurdle me 300 feet up into the air. Oh god, the Mario Sunshine flashbacks.
Nothing like translating an entire brownie recipe at 5 a.m. and making it idiot-proof for your friend in a different time zone who has never baked a single thing in their entire life because shipping it over would take too long and would spoil the food. You're a good friend. Imagine dating an immortal and finding a photo album of their exes who all sort of look like you dating back a century. Wow. What if the exes were all previous incarnations of you and the immortal's been dating all of them in the hopes of getting you to remember your first life when you originally met them? <gasps> I smell a novel. If I had a twin, I would go into crowds of strangers and profess my love to someone and then say, if our love isn't meant to be, I will go back in time and slap myself. And then my twin would burst in and slap me. I should do that with my twin. I need a twin. Stumbles out of Google Docs covered in blood. <laughs> Nobody go in there. Hey, I heard you like bad boys and not to brag but I'm literally bad at everything. Wink. Writing hard. But having written good. But at what cost? Writing. Fuck! I eat a lot of bread because it's soft and I deserve it. Also, I am gorgeous. My three favorite things are the Oxford comma, irony, and missed opportunities. This is the most infuriatingly metagrammar comment I've ever seen and I hate how much it inspires me! Kratos your face lovingly. Hey, I spilled super glue on my hands. The masculine urge to cuddle a sleepy man. It is strong. Hey, my mom's pregnant. Give the baby the worst name you can. You're asking me to name a baby? My answer is Grungle, in case you care. I like it. <laughs> Our shared mutual just reblogged that post from me and not you. How does it make you feel? You, you shut your mouth! Life is too short not to make up stupid fucking words and using them with a straight face. Scrung tinglius. Not that I am or anything, but hypothetically. How would I come out as asexual slash maybe demisexual? Step one, tell somebody you are ace or demi. Step two. Congratulations, you did it. So I did a little research and it turns out some people are still emo nowadays. Hey, hey. Fuck you. What's wrong? What happened? Oh, fuck off! Stop this. You're turning me emo. While I nodded, nearly napping, suddenly there came a clapping. As of ash cheeks, gently flapping, clapping at my chamber door. Tis a visitor, I muttered. Dummy thick. And nothing more. <laughs> what the fuck is this? LGBT was coined by the Beatles as an acronym for their names. Lenham, George Harrison Ford, Ball is Life McCartney, and The Drummer. I mean, it makes sense. And if you got a problem with it, you want to start a revolution? <laughs> Tell me your favorite weird fact. The earth is covered in corpses. We breathe the air the dead exude. Eat the food they nourished with their decay. Pour the remains onto our cars, wear them, and sleep on them. And then we call them scary without even noticing that they are present in every single thing in our lives. We live because of the dead. Bro, eco-goth. Apples to apples, dust to dust. Those two things aren't connected, but I feel like they should be now. Mr. Sandman, bring me a rat. Make it the softest that I ever pat, 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 pat. Vampires have been drinking human blood for centuries. They don't give a fuck about guys on eight different antidepressants. They were sucking on asbestos factory workers. The absolute hilarity, the absolute hilarity of imagining some older vampires hectoring younger ones. Back in my day, I had to drink blood with radium in it and I liked it. We glowed in the damn dark for weeks. Old vampires get lead, new vampires get microplastic. I'm losing it. Just heard the saying, the rumors are halfway around this town before the truth can get its boots on. And I think I'm going to be incorporating that into my personal lexicon. You might think to yourself, that's great, but when will you ever have a chance to use it? And to this I say, consider Tumblr? It's a cold and broken mama mia, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Here I go again. That was beautiful, man. Don't let my intelligence distract from the fact that I'm stupid.
high intelligence and low wisdom or high wisdom and low intelligence? High intelligence and high wisdom, but terrible, terrible luck on the rolls. High intelligence and wisdom, but with permanent disadvantage. Wait, that's just ADHD. Ding, 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 baby! I hate it.